right out of our museum vault. This is a 1979 Rolls-Royce Corniche, probably the most famous Corniche in the entire world. Zsa Zsa Gabor, the queen of divas, uh, slapped the cop. It was a slap that was heard around the world driving this very car. She bought this car brand new. She was driving in Beverly Hills in 1989, and she was pulled over for expired license plates. She didn't feel like waiting any longer. She just drove away. The cop caught up to her, pulled her over again, and that's when she slapped him. She was too good to be uh, pulled over and deal with this nonsense. So she took full advantage of that. She was on the Johnny Carson show, and I got all this publicity. This is one of those incidents. Again, if you were alive in 1989, everybody knew about this uh, around the world. So the car is in very nice shape. She bought it brand new. It has 49,000 actual miles on it. She put almost all of those miles on. This was her car. She owned it. Uh, she sold it uh, shortly after that incident. And then it went to a private collector that owned it 21 years. And then we bought it. And it's been in our museum collection for about 10 or 12 years now. And it's just time to rotate it for something different. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can see all the pictures including all sorts of pictures of Jaja in this car and the cop and uh, behind bars. We got all sorts of neat, fun stuff on there. That's also where you'll find the price tag along with the monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this was an extreme status symbol back in the day. A Rolls-Royce Corniche was about a $100,000 car uh, back then. She did buy this brand new. This was her car that she drove. It's still titled in her name to this day. Her license plates go with the car as well. So there's no question about its authenticity. <clears throat> now, it's been in our museum for 10 or 12 years. We have serviced the car. We spent thousand or two on it, you know, uh, redoing the carburetors and miscellaneous things like that. It actually runs and drives down the road very well. Air conditioning is not blowing cold. There's a, still a few things if you're going to make it more of a regular driver that would need a little service. But the car is in really nice shape and really, again, you'll hear it run later. It, it runs beautifully. Uh, so underneath the car has just been maintained. It's never been a nut and bolt taken apart restoration. Um, <clears throat> These ride incredibly well, has all <clears throat> adjustable suspension, automatic adjusting suspension, uh, dual exhaust system, uh, pictures are on our website. So the body is in excellent shape. Again, this always lived in Southern California. There is no rust, no damage. The gaps are really tight on a Rolls Royce, very precise. All smooth, no damage. All in excellent shape. I don't see any dents, bubbles, damage, issues. All of this is fantastic. Do you have a couple? Here's a hairline crack right here. And right up along the window edge there, just some little hairline cracks in the paint, not in the body. Oh, here's one little hairline crack right here. It's all clean metal, though. The doors are beautiful. And, man, those fit tight. You know, I do this on all the Camaros and everything. The gaps are nowhere near like they are in this Rolls Royce. Shuts real nice. You can smell that leather. Even though it's 1979, it smells like Rolls Royce leather. <coughs> Excuse me. The rockers are all clean. Yeah, the, the body's excellent. You know, you're not going to have any issues with the body on this car. It's in excellent shape. No rust, no damage. The paint is actually really nice, too. It's polished very smooth and glossy. Uh, you know, nice bright white with a, a very glassy finish. If you go around it, there'll be a nick or a touch-up or a minor imperfection here or there, like I had said. But uh, the paint shows really well. It has painted on dual blue pinstripe. Zsa Zsa Gabor is a decal that could be removed if you so desired. I think that's what makes this car so fun. All the window frames are shiny. All the original glass is excellent. Door handle chrome's real nice. Power mirror chrome's real nice. Windshield's in really nice, clear condition. The hubcaps and trim are excellent. 
Now, for example, their Michelin tires, they're fine, but they've been on the car for a while. If you're going to start driving it, that's the type of service uh, that you might need to or want to do. All of this is excellent. The rubber on the bumpers, bumpers themselves have a little bit of pitting on the chrome. The Rolls-Royce grill, the Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament, all this is really nice. Hood fits beautifully. Got a power antenna. My daughter just asked, what's that? That's the car phone that's still in the car. Look how crystal clear the glass is. Now, I purposely have the top up because you know, that can be an expensive item. This top's in excellent shape. It's not wrinkled. It's not cracked or torn. It uh, fits real nicely. The rear plastic window's nice and clear. So this top's in excellent shape. Power top, of course. It can be scrubbed and cleaned up one more time a little bit better, I believe. Back bumper, very good. Just a little bit of light surface marks. All this is in great shape. So I'm going to say the outside of the car is very good to excellent. Let's open it up and see the inside. All right, let's see what the trunk compartment looks like. The bottom panel is finished off very nicely. It's all original and great shape. The whole inside of the trunk compartment is actually really nice. All the carpet's real nice. The light works. Carpeted floor is excellent. This is the convertible top boot. You know, it weighs five times what a Camaro top boot weighs. This is genuine leather. The fancy snaps. Um, I've asked the shop if they have the cover over the battery. They're looking around. I don't know if they was missing when we bought it. So we are looking for that. Uh, and here is her actual license plate. This is, uh, was registered to this car. It was her plate. So very nice, clean trunk. I mean, I've seen these where the carpets are falling apart or they're stained. It's actually a very well-kept car. It really is. All the trim, the glass, the top, the body, it's excellent. So I think her most famous role would be on the TV show Green Acres. The door jams are clean. The door panels, this is an all-original interior. Door panels are excellent. Now the chrome, the armrests all look great. This is Connolly Leather Upholstery. I think it's from Sweden where they don't use barbed wire because they didn't want any nicks or marks in the leather. This is in really nice shape. The whole instrument panel. There is a hole drilled here. It looks like there might have been a toggle switch for something at one time. Let's put a little plug in there or something. This wood grain, the gauges, all real nice. 49,288 actual miles. It has a climate control system. It does have some digital readout temperature in that. Back in the day, it has a big deal. Nice glove box. It has a trunk release in here. I think we bought the lamb's wool overlays but it has the nice wilton carpet with the bound edges in excellent shape these uh floor mats are really nice so on the seat i'm sitting on the, the leather is torn believe it or not this leather is soft it's not hard and brittle it looks like it but this is soft leather here's her cell phone uh, who knows what kind of conversations were had on that Again, all soft leather. You got the armrests that come down. The back seat's in excellent shape. Oh, it's got a button over here to flip it forward. How convenient for me. Uh, this is in really nice shape, also soft. Also has the lamb's wool floor mats. And then look at inside the top. You don't see any of the top irons. Being a Rolls Royce, it has the cloth headliner. It's got working lights. visors, everything's really nice uh, in this car. I'm, I'm going to say that. This, this is a really well cared for original. Now these are becoming classics. The Corniche convertibles, this body style uh, isn't just uh, an old outdated car. This is now a classic car. They have a status uh, all to their own all over again. So I'm not sure what we're looking at here. It's uh, obviously a V8 motor, a dual carburetor. They actually use a GM air conditioning uh, compressor and GM power steering. 
and everything looks uh, you know proper and where it should be I, I don't see anything that's beat up or uh, you know doesn't look right you got the pads under the hood that's just to keep things real nice and quiet still has the cover with the strap over here yeah very nice Yeah, you know, these cars are just a smooth operator. It just feels so smooth. Idles smooth as can be. I don't feel even a shimmy or a shake. Now you might ask, why should you buy this car? One, again, they're, they're now a status symbol as a classic Rolls Royce. Um, I just sing it, seen on Bring a Trailer, a 1995 with 6,000 miles, just sold for, that it was 230 or $330,000. And then I noticed several more were pushing the $200,000 mark. This is not a 95, but it's the same body style. Uh, and again, this is probably the most famous one in the world. If you just have a collection or want a unique conversation piece or go to a car show, blow up the pictures that we have and you can make a really cool display. People have really enjoyed looking at this right here in our showroom. I don't think I'll do a burnout with this one. Ooh, we have a special guest appearance, Jaja herself. This is Jaja Grams, everybody. Uh, I was writing the ad and researching this car, and my daughter, Shelby, just got this dog. And she wanted her to be a diva, wanted her to be spoiled. And she said, what should I name her? I'm like, Jaja, that's perfect. I had also mentioned earlier, Jaja was known for her uh, TV acting in Green Acres. But she's also known, she, she said this herself, as being an excellent housekeeper. She was married, I forget if it was seven or nine times, and she said she kept all their houses. So go to volocars.com. Salesman can help answer your questions including how to get this delivered to your door and uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon because you never know what's going to roll in here next. Thanks for watching.